found it. What? What I've been looking for. What's that? This light fixture right here. Why? Because it's delightful. That. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook. Sometimes I go picking with my boyfriend, sometimes it's my best friend Sue, and sometimes it's my kids. But at the end of the day, it's all about having fun and hopefully just maybe making a profit. Okay, well, Andrew and I on our, on our way. <laughs> Andrew and I are on our way to Virginia and we happen to be driving past this little shop that says antiques and I said, can we stop? And he said, why not? So we're here and we're gonna go see what they got. Say hi, Andrew. Hi. No, that's not what I meant. <laughs> My wits and antiques, it's very noisy because of the traffic, but let's find some stuff. <laughs> There's a second floor and an outbuilding. There's a Northwood vase, it's very pretty. Carnival vase. Oh, it's a nice blue. I don't know if you can see it. Very cute, $28. Unfortunately, carnival prices are low, so we're not gonna get that. We're gonna keep looking. Ooh, aren't these darling? Look, Andrew. These are like little inlaid pictures. They're so cute. It's probably all hand done. I know. I really like those. Made in Italy. They're not old, but they're cute. Hmm. Let's look at some costume. I like costume. Hmm. So right now, um, while I'm looking at this, I'm looking for little critters, like birds or little teddy bears. And then I'm looking for makers. So I'm looking for like Trafari. I can't tell what that says. Oh my God, I need glasses so bad. They're out in the car. I don't know what that says, but that's not really like what I would look for anyway. Oh, this, now that I like. That is nice. I want 12 for it. It's Jelly Belly. That's what it's called when it has that stone right there. It's from Spain. I like that. I just don't know if I like it for 12 bucks. I feel like there's no room there. <laughs> oh, goodness. Very cute, though. All right, let's keep going. Now this. This is absolutely stunning Fevril glass. It's got like that oily sheen to it. Um, it's 185. It's a little out of our price range, but it's a beautiful light. Stunning. Oh, I want it so bad. <laughs> hmm. the painted floor. Oh my god. <laughs> hmm. So, like, my hat is almost hitting the ceiling. <laughs> Andrew. Yeah. I know. <laughs> I think I'm like <laughs> It's delightful Oh, did you see these? Those are pretty I like those plates Yeah 
I really like this. This is really cool. Hmm, what did you find? So this this would make for like a good little trinket dish for like buttons and stuff. I like it. That's a teddy bear. Oh, it's modern. Never mind. <laughs> Ooh, false alarm. Yeah. Yeah, it's so modern. modern. Flying saucer style. But it's definitely modern. <laughs> the size of this ball. Oh my god. Wait, you and your balls. Look, this ball's huge. <laughs> Ooh, look at that. That's kind of cute. Oh, the finial? Yeah. I don't really care much for the lamp. But the finial's really nice. Leave it to me, right? All right, let's keep going. I kind of like this, though. I think I could have that. Okay, well, the last place was really cute and charming, but we didn't find anything there. So, about five minutes down the road, we happened upon this place. Apparently, it has furnishings, and I love furnishings. So let's go find some furnishings, Andrew. Can I get a new pink bicycle? I'll think about it. Please? Maybe. Mommy? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> the cottage. Trying not to be shaky, but I don't have my Joby on here today. Ooh, we've got some light fixtures up here. That one looks relatively modern. And that one looks toll wear. Oh, those are so cute. They look like Martha Stewart edition, but they're very charming. But I don't think this is really our style. It's a little bit like shabby chic. This is cute though. 40 bucks. I don't know if that's, it's that cute, but it's pretty cute. Oh, I like that celadon glaze on there. Oh yes, okay, so it's um, Andrea by Sadik. They fool me all the time. I can't stand them. It's like, like import stuff. Ooh. German horses. That is a really nice piece right there. German porcelain. That's pretty amazing. But they want 275 for it. Ooh. Wow, it's probably worth a little bit more than that, but not much. I didn't want to be in an attempt to lift it and look at the base. I'm just gonna trust them that it's German because it looks to be German. The only thing they're missing is definitely unicorn horns and possibly part of an ear, which would affect the value. Hi there. How are you? Good, thanks. Andrew, what did you find that has you geeking out? It's just neat, like repurposed serving it? fork for a hook. I like it. There you go. I had all that. You should buy it so you can hang your hat and stop losing your hat. I like the seahorse. But I like it. I like the Ooh, I do like the shutter dog, but I don't think it's old, is it? Yeah, it is. It's probably like the only old thing here because everything else looks modern. Well, it's only five bucks. Shutter dogs are actually worth good money because people are looking to make complete sets of them. Look at these, these are so fun. I love it. So this store isn't really my style, 
but I find myself falling in love with it because there is so much cool stuff here. Um, I'll give you a quick tour. It's adorable. You're such a goof. So this little French clown here, they can sometimes be worth money, but they want $18 for this one, so it's not coming home with us. All right, well, we're gonna make one more stop here across the street from the last place. Um, online it said antiques, but now here it says vintage hip. Um, so I love vintage hip, I'm all about it. What about you? Sure, why not? <laughs> Let's go get some vintage hip. <laughs> Ooh, I like you. All right, come on, my love. The door is sticking. Do not let it stick you. Now this looks promising. I see a barley twist lamp. Okay, so I'm sitting here at my computer editing this video from two years ago. And I realized that I just walked right by a Weller planter. Just like, oh, hey, look, there's a lamp. And I just walked right by it. And I just, I can't. I can't. What was, what was I thinking? What was I thinking? Not only about the Weller planter, but the hair decision. I know you're all thinking it, but. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this video. Let's get back to it. I see a barley twist lamp. I see a bridge lamp on sale. It just needs a beautiful shade right there. Andrew. What? Haven't you always wondered a man pondering in a chair? Hmm, let me ponder that thought. <laughs> but you have to pose like that. <laughs> oh my God, man pondering. I personally, I've always wanted a man pondering. You said that was a man begging. <laughs> what? I said pondering. Hello, horsey. Mmm. This is pretty cute. This is so cool. My gosh. Andrew. Oh, wow. How cool is that? Oh, wow. That is awesome. Look at these. Oh wow. Oh, we found the old stuff. This is what we've been looking for. Andrew, I found your Shirley Temple creamer that you were looking for. Yeah, because I really need that money. <laughs> <laughs> so the first thing I spotted here, and we got a fan um, competing against us for noise but it's this crazy quilt bear which probably doesn't oh it probably isn't that old but it's definitely awesome with the velvet and the corduroy he's so cute and then 
Up here we have a beautiful crackle glass swag lamp. You guys know I love swag lamps. Can't really get to it though. And I don't really know if I want it, but I like it. <laughs> Oh goodness, the color. I love the color. We've got some Fenton in here. Some carnival glass. I love this guy up here, but he's very modern. And by very modern, I mean not really terribly modern, but too modern for me. <laughs> this is cute. I do like this. It's cute. Let's keep going. Okay, well now I see um, stuff that is a little bit more my pace. This beautiful Victorian slide glass ceiling fixture is fantastic. This is super fantastic. But oh my gosh, do they know their lighting? <laughs> Go figure. So what I do is I buy this stuff and I fix it up like this, but then I sell it online. But there is some really, really nice stuff in here. Ooh, hello. That doesn't have a price on it. Oh, but it's broken. <laughs> All right, well, we decided to try one last stop today. I'm hoping there's some good stuff here. Um, it's called Antiques, in case you were wondering. Right there on the sign, it's called Antiques. Um, so we're gonna see what we can get. Let's see what we can find. This is a World's Fair lamp, which is pretty cool. It's been rewired, and they note that, which is awesome. But that's pretty neat. The shade could go. <laughs> it needs a, needs a good vintage shade, but um, yeah, World's Fair lamp, right there for thirty-seven bucks. Here are some little piano babies. The German ones can be worth money, but I do not believe these are German. Could be German. I don't know. I'm not sure. I can't tell on this one. I love this Majolica. That is fantastic. That's on sale for $58. This is a very popular vintage reproduction bridge lamp. It's a table bridge lamp, and the table bridge lamps are rarer than the standing bridge lamp. This one you will see all the time, and it's a very popular reproduction. So stay away from it. fixture right here Why? because it's Tell me delightful that. um well it's um goes on your ceiling and it shines light down <laughs> hold this please what do you think andrew Looks like a light fixture to me. It's a light fixture. I don't know if I trust. I like it. Do I like it for forty-five dollars? I don't. <laughs> what about that one hanging behind you? I like that one. Which one? That one? That one, yeah. I like Those that one. Shades. That one I do like. 
Mm, 85. Ooh, that's not bad. It's been rewired. It's already rewired. We don't even have to do any work. I'll have to think about that. $85 is a lot of money. But I like it. <laughs> hey, oh my gosh, you are so cute. Do you want to be best friends? Oh my goodness. Hi. Hi. I probably smell like dirt and stuff. But you still want to kiss me. Okay. So I've obviously been editing this for a while. It's starting to get dark. But I just thought I would just on a final note point out the fact that it's really interesting to watch myself from two years ago on this video that I never put out. And just to to realize how much I've grown as a reseller in two years and how back then I just completely disregarded a lot of things that today I would pick up in a heartbeat because my knowledge has grown in two years. And uh, I just I just found that interesting. <laughs> I'm just edit I'm still editing the video, but I'm I'm kicking myself for a lot of the things that I didn't even bother to look at. I'm, I'm watching it now and I'm like, wait, 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 how much is that? How much is that? Just, just like my viewers do. Um, but, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, if you stick with it and, and you continue to grow and your tastes change and you become more evolved as a reseller, um, you just got to stick with it. So, uh, so I just thought that was interesting, but I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. I am just about to call it quits go spend some time with the family, but I will see you guys all tomorrow, later. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that other people might overlook.